Welcome back. Seven years ago, an unknown group of musicians in Adelaide started performing cover versions of some of the greatest rock and pop hits of all time. They filmed them, put them online and slowly built a huge fan base. Six months ago, we did a story on them. And since then, a lot's happened. Some people want to feel the world with silly love songs And what's wrong with that? Chuggy, what's going on now? This thing's blowing up. It is blowing up. We're uh, selling out American shows. And Eighteen shows or something in America in January, from coast to coast. We're also going to England, working with um, one of the biggest promoters, Simon Moran. Um, oh my goodness! When you're up on stage, so It's just gone with gangbusters, Richard. And it's also gone full circle for the Hindley Street Country Club. <laughs> Band founder Condello and the crew back home. It all started in Adelaide. <laughs> After six months on a sellout tour of Australia. How was that walking out on stage? Surreal. Just surreal. You walk out then, you know, just do the cross, I can't believe I'm here, you know, it's just, it's just, and you're doing it with the people that I actually love. They're my, they're my other family. So no better people to do it than to go home. And it's just like a, sitting in a big rocking chair and it's just feeling enveloped in just love and warmth. And Adelaide's a t Adelaide can be a tough town, but can be a, a very giving town too. <laughs> Aussie music icon Michael Chugg had a hunch and took them on. There was an interesting moment where they've done a song with Ian Moss, which is interesting, and mm. I thought that was a mm. smart was thing to do. Tucker's daughter, Bo Riddle. No, no, we did a Why My Guitar Gently Weeps oh with Mossy. Goodness. Just what a talent that man is still. They found their fan base online and caught a current affairs eye. You, you come on a current affair, tell the story, seven years down the track, kaboom, right? The current affair unequivocally was a game changer for us, unequivocally. How many of you guys saw us the last time on a current affair? Raise your hands. Closing in on 1.5 billion views around the globe. I know this much is true. Do you have any idea whether they're, they're new fans, whether they're Aussies, whether they're expats? What, do you know who's, who's coming? Yeah, of um, our over a billion views, only 2.9% is Australia. Wow. And most of it is America. It's uh, America, Brazil, uh, Philippines, Mexico, near the, in Japan, near the big five. So that's where they're going, the US in the new year. We went on sale in Long Beach and we just went watching the ticket sales and couldn't believe it. And now it's what, 18 shows or something in America in January, from coast to coast, you know, doing shows in New York City, like. They've already had gigs in Manila. And a show at the Formula One Grand Prix in Singapore. And everyone just went boom and congregated to where we were and it was just bedlam. They're the moments you get into music for, because you're sharing. The sharing continues here too, with another lap of Australia next year. Starting in March around the, around the nation, a, a full national theatre tour, some 40, 45 dates 
over three months. Well, it is quite the ride. Long may it continue. Yes, sir. <laughs>